So, a buddy of mine asked me how I got my Glock 43X slide letters painted white. And I told him, oh, yeah, sure, I'll show you. I'll explain it. So, I decided I might as well make a video with all the other hundreds of videos on YouTube. And then I'll just send it to him. So, here we go. I did try it with nail polish, the slide with nail polish. And it's possible. It can be done. It just seems with the paint marker, it's a lot... Uh, a lot less difficult and to me it was a lot less difficult and easier and quicker so here I'm gonna show on this mag that has no nail polish because maybe on my slide it looked good because I just put all the nail polish and then put the paint marker on it so I'm showing I did it on my on this mag basically what I try to do is get the paint into the crevices where you want it the nine millimeter little crevices obviously it's gonna get everywhere it's okay you're gonna wipe it down trying to get it to focus because uh, you can see when the paint goes into the crevices because it could be covered good but there could be it like not going into the crevices all the way but there's paint over it if that makes sense but if you look at it the right way if you don't put a, such a heavy coat you can see it where see basically where you want it so this is me just trying to focus to show that with my very bad lighting and very bad tripod, which is a uh, thermal cup. Anyway, after me trying to get that to focus, whatever, let it dry for a little while. I didn't let it dry for that long. I don't think these things take that long to dry, but for the video's time sake, I did not let them dry. That was my OCD kicking in, seeing some little dust bunnies or something on there and getting them off and painting over them. Probably didn't need to, but that's how OCD works. Whatever. So, what I used, I've seen somebody use a paper towel, which I think will work fine. I use just, I uh, believe, pretty much cotton, just a t-shirt, which I'll show in a minute whenever I pull that out. Yeah. So, kind of wrap it around your finger. You'll see right here when I do it. I'm going to wrap it around. I put that I put the nail polish remover in the cap so I can dip it in there. It soaks up into the t-shirt. So then what I do is I had saw some paint because I used a shirt before. That's what happened. Saw some paint so I got a different spot. You just don't want to you don't want to smear paint that's already on there around. So kind of start dabbing it to get all the top excess off. You don't want to put and then you also want to move it because if you wipe it with one spot. You're just going to keep that paint where you just wiped off and wipe it around and it's not going to come off. So I got it like that. Got the top part wiped off. Then I get a new area that does not have nail polish remover or paint. Then I do it again. Wrap it around my finger. More acetone. Then I kind of do circles, whatever. I try not to put too much pressure because I don't want to, I don't want it to leak and get into the crevices. So I kind of just wipe, like, just enough to get the paint that's, that you don't want there off. I did see that the, it's part of the M didn't have, like, enough paint. Now you can kind of tell when you look at it, so I just added some more, whatever. That paint marker was... I thought it was empty already. I'm surprised I got any out of it. So, uh, there's kind of a big, not a big glob, but there's like probably an excessive amount that's needed. So, I dab it, I believe. I'm trying to get y'all a better view, but I'm horrible at this. So, I dab it to get most of it off. Then I'll be waiting forever for it to fucking dry. So you can kind of see where the paint needs to be. A little bit of hand dry don't hurt nothing.
that was not a long wait at all for it to dry. So, wrapped the t-shirt around my finger, dipped in acetone. I churn my finger because there's acetone completely around your finger. You don't have to move it, get a new spot, dip it all over again because acetone soaks into the t-shirt. So, it's like all over your finger, basically. So, you can just kind of twist it around. But if you want to be really, really thorough and you have OCD, you can do it again. I don't think I did do it again because I thought it was fine. Just like that. It's all, it all comes down to personal preference. See, this is how my slide came out. Also did my barrel, which I didn't think would come out that great. It came out really great in my opinion. Even the little baby Glock sign on the, on the slide. Got to do that with the paint marker. That wouldn't come out right with the nail polish. But the paint marker, it came out good. This is my other slide that I did completely with the paint marker. Came out really good also. I might end up doing the rest of the other slide. Just so they'll match. But yeah, that is how I did it. Hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching.